Welcome to Suzuka. You're watching GT World and this is qualifying pole shootout for the Intercontinental GT Challenge powered by Pirelli, penultimate round. Yeah, that's right. It is the SMBC BH Auction Suzuka 10 hours, the 48th running of the Summer Endurance Classic here at Suzuka Circuit. My name's Sam Collins and I'm joined in the box, well, by two very qualified people. Hello to everybody, I'm uh, Ronnie Quintarelli, uh, Super GT driver here in Japan and for this occasion I'm here to commentate this uh, great event. Uh, uh, I'm really looking forward for uh, this uh, very important last session of the day. Hello, uh, wherever you are, good afternoon, good morning, uh, good evening. Um, we're getting the sun, the sun is kind of coming down here in Suzuka. My name is Atsuko and I was here last year, some of you may um, notice, but maybe not. Um, we're looking into a uh, pulse shootout pretty soon, and we'll be here this evening and also for 10 hours tomorrow. Right, Sam? Yeah, it's gonna be, well, it's 11 hours for us, but it's gonna be a great mm -hmm. show to watch. This qualifying session is gonna be interesting. The cars are beginning to line up on pit road. So the 20th fastest, 20th? The 20 fastest 20. cars <laughs> from uh, qualifying earlier on today will be running. Now, there's some specific rules for this session. Now, the highest graded driver in the car has to, to participate in this session, and we'll come back to that with one of the cars in particular in a minute, but that means that, that a lot of the teams don't have a choice, but a few teams do have a choice. So some of the teams that are all platinum or all gold get to choose which driver they put in. Other teams don't have that choice at all, and that's not necessarily what they want to do. The session run, each car in this session has an extra free set of tyres. And, um, well, one of the drivers who isn't taking the car out on track is about to talk to us. So we'll, I'll hand over to my old friend, Mr. Chio. Taka's with him down in the pits. Takashi? Takashi? Hello? Hi, uh, you're with uh, Chio kun Yes, uh, I'm currently at the KCMG paddock right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a uh, Chio with me. All right. And I would like to ask a couple of questions. So, uh, so Chio, uh, what happened? Uh, what happened? Well, how did how do you feel about the qualifying? How did you find the, the uh, qualifying? Yes, uh, it was uh, you know the very hard quality. In my uh, Q1, was uh, we have a red flag. It's uh, unfortunately I had a letter flag on my uh, flying lap, so I couldn't make a better lap time uh, before letter flag. Then after letter flag we have three minutes remaining. Then only I had one lap chance to <laughs> take a better lap time. Then uh, I I try to make a clear lap, clear 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 lap, like uh, make a gap in front in in out lap. Then I could take uh, only one time laps. O only one time laps, so fortunately I I could take a two or two six. It's a P10, but it's not as good as I we thought. But uh, it's okay, you know, in yeah. in, in top twenty. Then uh, my teammate Josh and Sugiyo san did a great job. At, you know, two or two low two or two, and uh, Sugiyo did two or two six. Same as uh, pretty same as I think our. Our driver's average is very similar. Yeah. That was a good point. Then we finally uh, finished as a P5, which, which means very, I think, good result so far. Yeah. And how was the, the tire situation during the call point? Tire situation? Yeah. So we started at the beginning of the session with yeah. a very fresh use of the tire. Then we pit, pit out and straight in to yeah. check the car balance. Then we change to the new tire. We put new tire, and then maybe last 10 minutes we can take a uh, two or three, you know, flying laps. So main, I think generally the peak grip is uh, lap two. Mm. So only one time, two times, so it's a peak grip. How do you feel about the a post shootout from the KCMG? Because uh, there are two cars in uh, a post shootout, yeah. and your car is. The coin, uh, the P5, the P5 in overall. So, what, what yeah. do you think? What do you expect the car to be? Mm, 
uh, yeah, we hope we can be as strong as possible, but you know, there's so many good drivers and good manufacturers uh, in, in this P20 yeah. for shootout. So, uh, to be honest, I think we can be top 10, and uh, if it can be uh, top 6, top 3, it's, it, it's gonna be great. But I, I uh, this is uh, just we, we are believing, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, uh, we should. Uh, yeah. Chio, uh, hang on, hang on. Chio san, thank you very much for the <laughs> nice uh, uh, explanation. My pleasure, Roni san. Hey, Sug <laughs> Sugio, Sugio san is ready to drive? Sugio san uh, now jump in the car. Uh, he, he said he feel, 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 feel yeah. uh, big pressure now, but <laughs> I think it's better than Super GT, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is uh, for him yeah. is the home circuit, so we are confident mm. you will do a good job. Uh, Thank yeah, you very much. We are very, yes, we are confident too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and the good luck <laughs> for tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Ciao, bye Thank bye. You very much. See you later. Ciao, so See just you. to those those of you watching on uh, GT World, we'll bring you images from the track at the moment. There's not very much to see. It's just a bunch of cars lining up in the pit lane, and we'll bring that to you. Otherwise, you'd be watching pictures of various things, various ideas for my dinner tonight, because that's <laughs> what is on the screen. <laughs> um, but we are going to be bringing you all of the action, of course, on video on, on GT World imminently, once the session actually gets underway, which isn't going to right yet. But the, the, the rules in this session are going to be quite interesting, because if the car is out on track, it's out on track and setting times. Yes. But as soon as the car comes to the pit lane, all of its previous times get deleted. I so see. the cars have to be out on track and running to score times. Now, if they're in the pit, there's zero times. But it's a question. Do you go straight out on track, as some cars definitely are going to, or do you wait and run a lighter fuel load and then when you've got the new tyres, get a lighter car in? Well, it looks like not many cars are going to take that option as yeah, I look down the pit lane. The penultimate option is maybe to go out with uh, used tyres and just to check the car and then uh, come back to the pit, put the new tires, and you need to, to run until the checker flag by regulation. Yeah, exactly, so... To have your time... Uh, but you don't need to be running at official. full full speed at checker flag, so you could set your fast time and then chug around and sort of be a little bit of a chicane, but within the regulation chicane, you know? There's only so many lines through the snakes that uh. you can be sitting <laughs> on, and you know... If you happen to be on the line at the wrong moment, well, there's nothing much you can do about that. Uh, so, I'm not uh, sure about the, <laughs> you know, the, the GT3, about this race, the, the judgment, how it's going to be. Yes. Well, Usually in Japan, they are very strict in exactly. Super GT. As soon as you do something a bit, you know, like But this that. isn't a Super GT. So this race is slightly unusual because it's a mix of the Intercontinental GT Challenge, Super Tight Cube and Super yes, GT and all together right. and it's actually Suzuka Circuit's own event so they are running that's it right. their way and it's quite interesting because they think they've been quite liberal on it, allowing drivers to get away with things so far which is quite nice to see uh, and it's very um, I haven't seen a single penalty yet actually. Oh there was one. There um, was one. Ah. There was one during the fra pra free practice yesterday. Um, a certain driver cut across the white line at the exit of the pit lane and he was fined um, a handsome amount of money. Yeah, but, that um, is uh, <laughs> quite a common thing yeah, all over the world, the world if you <laughs> cross the white line. You didn't even see the white line yesterday, it was underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Still, you have to consider it as a wall, so you cannot cut, uh, cut across the white line. Yeah, yeah, yesterday we had the huge rain here in Suzuka and uh, as we said uh, before during the previous qualifying sessions, uh, finally from uh, today where the cars could drive uh, with nice weather, uh, dry uh, track condition and uh, I think uh, it will be very interesting to see the lap time uh, uh, the drivers uh, will get in this uh, pole shootout session. Now it's getting a bit uh, cooler here in uh, a Suzuka, so lower track temperature, temperature compared to the afternoon session, so the, I guess the lap times will be quicker and it will be very nice if we will see some uh, two minutes oh, oh, point something. So we just, I've just got an, uh, an update from Tom at SRO and he's just pointed out that Nick Foster in the Hub Auto uh, Ferrari, and that's a car we need to talk about a little bit, yes. his 2018 pole shootout benchmark and previous record yes. was 0.6 qu seconds quicker than the best qualifying time we've seen so far, 
So we, so he's suggesting that with the lower track temps now, because it's yeah. clouded over a bit, the track temperature's dropped off, we're not going to get any more sunshine, it's clouded over completely. He thinks that lap record is going to be quicker, so we're going to be over a second quicker than qualifying at the end of the session. Oh, now that's an interesting car to talk about, that Hub Auto car with Nick Foster, Nick Cassidy and Heike Coven lining in. Now, Foster was the quickest driver in that car, then Cassidy, that's right. and then Kovalainen. However, Cassidy and Foster are both gold-rated drivers, that's and right. I have checked with Nick Cassidy that that's correct, and yes it is, and he's not quite sure why he's gold-rated either, he should really be platinum. Yeah, quite uh, surprising for us. Uh, super GT champion, super Formula points leader, you kind of think he's platinum, but there you go. Yeah, not sure I will. But Heike Kovalainen is platinum, and because of the regulations, Heike Kovalainen, who was the quickest driver in that car in was the slowest driver, sorry, in that car in qualifying, is the one that's going to have to qualify in this session, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, no, for thing. sure, but we are st still talking about Heike Kovalainen, you know, uh, former Formula One uh, driver, Super GT champion, and uh, I think uh, he's still like uh, trying to get used uh, to maximize his driving with the, this uh, GT3 Ferrari car. So I think he will, he's going to go to do a good job. But it's Van der Linde, at the time he set, is actually the current record, but we think that's going to go pretty quickly. Tom from SRO is pretty certain of that. He's feeding us great information here in the box. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... I've been asking the people on the chat, and if you're listening on uh, GT, uh, GT World, do tell, we are watching the chat, so do let us know where you are, what time of day it is. 4.30 a.m., fantastic for Blake Hall there, up watching us there. I think it's a bit later in most of Europe. It's... Uh, I want to see what, who you think is going to be on pole here because I'm not. I'm not thinking. It's very simple. The session starts at 17:35. If you're wondering, so in just about three minutes' time, we'll have the, car, the cars go out onto session, and it's going to be fast and frantic once that starts. There'll be purples popping up all over the place, Ronnie. Uh, if you see the the combined classification of the three uh, qualifying sessions. It's very nice uh, and interesting to see that we have five manufacturers, different manufacturers in the top uh, six uh, positions. So, who knows? <laughs> it's difficult to predict. Uh, the Audi seems to be uh, in very good shape, but we have also, the, as we said, uh, the best uh, lap time in qualify was made, uh, as we said, by Foster, which uh, he is not going to drive in, the, in this short -out session. So it's difficult to predict, honestly. So I'm, uh, I would say the Lamborghini, the, the car number 88, the j Lock car, uh, the Italian driver Mapelli is going to drive, and he did a very good... Uh, he was wild, wasn't he? Very good qualifying session. It was uh, 0.5 uh, uh, second off the, to the pace from the, the time of Foster. I think he was the third or fourth quickest, and he will be in the car uh, again, I was talking to him before, he's very confident, he said that they have a very good setup. So I would uh, bet for him. Well, we have Sweden, California, Germany, Italy for Ronnie, just Ronnie. Yep. Greece, the Netherlands, Australia again, Mexico, Tunbridge, Kent, wow. <laughs> in England, South Africa, Brazil, Great. Germany, Poland, Romania, Saudi Arabia, more people from Mexico, of course more from New Zealand, Hong Kong, Ontario in Canada, and many more places from all over the place. And of course, here in Suzuka, in Mi Prefecture. Right now, the heart of the GT racing world. <coughs> well, we're just getting ready for the green light to come out in about one minute. It's, it's interesting, so we can see the number 35 car from KCMG with uh, Sugio Matsuda already at the wheel of that. Doors open, the mechanics aren't around the car and there's no mechanics standing in front of it. Looks like he might wait a little bit before going out, as we thought some people would. Both the BMWs are waiting as well. One of the Audis down there, both the Bentleys look to be waiting. The Motul NSX is waiting on pit road as well, as is the Hatsune Miku Mercedes. Whereas the rest of the cars in this session are all waiting for the green lights to come on and go straight out on track and try and set that lap. Now remember, if you're sitting in the pits, obviously you've got no time. If you come back into the pits, you have no times. But if you're out on track, your times all count. But the fastest lap, obviously, is all that matters at the end of the day. Who will get that mark? It's going to be pretty busy out on track. 20 cars. Are we going to see any red flags? 10 seconds till the green flag comes out. This is going to be fun. 20 cars, one pole position. 
one amazing circuit. Suzuka 10 hours, pole shootout is about to go. Yeah, green. There we go. Obviously, out lap, so we won't find out very much, but there's going to be a bit of jostling for track position, I suspect, as you see already with that portion on the tail of the Mercedes. There's that Nagaro blue Audi, as well as the, the WR Team WRT. That's because when it's a celebration of um, a new model, when that came on the market, that was one of the new colours they had on it. I still think they should have gone for an old WRC livery, personally. Or one of the old DTMs. Well, that's it, it's quite clear. So, Sugio Matsuda did come out of the, his garage, but a lot of the other cars, the, both the Bentleys are sitting and waiting. The Motorola SX is waiting. One of the BMWs is waiting, so it's splitting their strategies there. The, uh, one of the Audis is down there as well. And uh, Hatsune Miku also waiting, so... I uh, also the motor left a bit. Ah, uh, the motor's motor gone out. SX. So they're just trying to find track position. I think they're trying to find a bit of space. Now it's yeah, that's right. Most of the cars, like, they left uh, uh, the pit lane straight away. It would be quite busy in the, for them in, in, the, in that area. So I think the Bentley's gone, yeah. As, uh, we could uh, see the KCMG car, uh, Matsuda, Tsugio Matsuda, he left a bit later, he tried to find uh, a clear space. So the point is, uh, are all the cars on uh, new tyres and uh, they will try to... Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? If you, you've got a brand new, they get an yeah. extra set of tyres for this right. session, so yeah. you, get, you get a set of sticker tyres, which you can uh, only use in this session, so you may as well. They need uh, to attack, but uh, as a, by regulation, they need uh, to, to drive until the checker flag. Interestingly for me, quite a few t t teams, like KCMG I've just noticed, they've all got quite a few tyres ready as if they're about to make a pit stop. In fact, it looks like the KCMG guys are ready to come and make a tyre change. So are we going to see that strange thing if the car goes out and does a sort of couple of laps and then in and... Yeah, because you have the extra, the extra new set, yeah. but you can start the session with the used tyres. Exactly, because there's a set of sticker, I can see a sticker tyre yeah. down in the KCMG garage. So I'm wondering if they're going to bring their cars back in and swap onto the new tyre after getting the drivers, yeah. I guess, mentally bedded in, really. And I guess that they just... Uh, Did you get an explanation of that from Sugio, what they Hey, I talked with uh, Chio Sam uh, before, but honestly, I didn't talk about this uh, price point. Uh, but they said uh, just, uh, you know, in the session that uh, Tsugio, he drove, uh, he drove just one lap yeah. before, and he was explaining Chio uh, before to Takashi during the, the report. Just to warm up their self, they were like uh, doing this uh, out in lap, I mean, just one straight. Well, that's exactly what car, you can't see it on the screen, but that's exactly what cargo racing in the tri treble seven Ferrari has just done. They've gone out, done an installation lap, and then come back into the pits and put on the brand new set of tyres, and then they'll be heading out. So that out lap time would be deleted, but it's not relevant at this point. And the one on the point, because yesterday it was rainy, uh, each driver couldn't drive so many laps on dry. Yeah. So they tried to gain mileage as much as, as, much as possible. That's uh, one of the reasons they tried to have even one more lap with uh, it's your a, stairs. It's a big lap. gamble at this point. Yeah, KCMG are getting ready, or well, they're doing something with tyres. You can see the KCMG pits relegating a lot of our tyres. I've seen what the mechanics have got a message, but with 11 minutes to go in the session already, you know, that's that much has gone. It's a little bit of a, a, a brave manoeuvre to start playing around yeah, with your tyres uh, at this point. I think here in Suzuka the track surface is uh, you have a lot of grip, very demanding to tyres, and if you can have a very good tyres warm up, I think the the peak grip, as uh, Chio Sun said before, is on lap two. So we still have enough time, like to drive the used tyre, come back to the pit, and uh, to have uh, at least two two flying laps. Yeah, it's and that's what it's going to be. It's, it's right on the grass there, and they're not flying with the Porsche going to be known for the rest of time hopefully. For those who don't get the reference, there was a, an American racing team used to race in the LMS and occasionally at Le Mans called Flying This Racing and they had a Porsche that was painted almost exactly the same as that. Yeah, that's the Porsche that uh, they have uh, some uh, rear tyre trouble in the first session there. Well, we were wondering about the fastest lap times. You can't see it on your screen, but Mauer Engel in the 999 car has just set the fastest time so far of this session. Obviously, not many times on the board. A 2.01.2, which is... Yeah, it's already the car. fastest uh, lap time well, of the day. Oh, and as we say, at Craft Bamboo just go and do a 2.01.0 right. now, as you can see on your screen. And you're going to see these times start tumbling now for a little bit. Coming into the pits now, ah, KCMG are going to roll that dice and bring in for the new tyres. Are they going to bring growth cars in or just one of them? It looks like the 35 crew is ready for Sugio Matsuda as Richard Lyons is on a hot lap now. 
the man who really knows his way around this track. And that's not too good, that's the 18018 car in. Yeah, that's the Jarvis. Jarvis is quite good. And yeah, and I can see already, yeah, uh, Sugiyo Matsuda is in for his new tyres, his crew. We've got the orange hats on, and the, uh, the 018 crew have got the green hats on. Yeah. That's the pit, the pit crew, like, to recognise it. It's quite obvious when you see it, but... <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's nice to see, see yeah. It's nice to see, I mean, otherwise you probably wouldn't... Yeah. You know, it makes it, yeah, it makes the life very easy for us to watch. <laughs> and uh, the pit uh, crew worker by the team Makis MG is very nice because both cars, yeah. even in the previous qualify, they, uh, they were coming in at the same time, but it looks very organized. It does. Uh, it's it's nice also, also in for brand new tyres, all Psyche Cover line in there in the Havolto Ferrari. Now, the reason we're not talking about so much about the times you can see on the screen at the moment is a lot of the guys on the brand new sticky tyres are just leaving the pits now, nine minutes to go. So we're going to see an awful lot of lap time evolution. As long as everything stays green and dry, it's getting very gloomy over the first corner end of the track. There was some rain forecast, but we looked on the radar earlier, it didn't look likely. But now I'm looking at the sky and I'm not so convinced. Wow, two minutes. Uh, yeah, that's 2.01 oh, wow, dead flat, from Jean-Marc Goulon, yeah. There's a ring clouds approaching, yeah. but I'm not sure if we'll be here. Yeah, there is, on the radar there are some distinct rain clouds very close to us right now, so those guys who might have bit it may have... Yeah, yeah. usually yeah. in Suzuka when it starts raining, uh, the rain uh, falls down at the uh, sector tree, which is like most of the rain clouds. Well, there's the, the, new, there's the new fastest time, Lawrence. Uh, uh, sorry, it's oh, the Van Tour there. It's Van done Van in, Van yeah, a two minute point seven. That's the fastest lap we've seen this weekend altogether in that Nagaro blue team WRT Audi. The Sun Energy uh, Mercedes now is coming in for his new tyres. Very late for that, eight minutes to go. All of his time is going to be deleted as we're watching the number 42 Schnitzer BMW, Augusta Farfus. He's been around for a long time and he's a long term BMW driver. Oh, it's quite big coming down the start finish line. Look at that, a two minute what, five for four. Water time. Yeah, fantastic water time. time. Can, we, can we see a, a 59 on this? I think we could. Yeah, we could see, we might see. Especially the forecast that, uh, yeah, might be also for. Uh, There's some quick so cars still on that. that out just yeah. went out in the and, last part of the session. Andy so. Suchek now coming through. He's not going to go faster, I don't think, than August Apartheus in the Bentley. Car 108 coming towards the final line. No, he's already gone past that line. Oh, it's not a good time at all for the Bentley. A 2042, that's not going to help. So the forecast of the rain clouds approaching is around six, six ish. So well, that's about that's now. <laughs> <laughs> but the session is supposed to be until like 50, right? Yeah, yeah so, so yeah, um, it's going to be close. Yeah, it, yeah we could get some rain at the end of this. So this. Cross your fingers. Uh, here comes Richard Lyons in his Audi. Lights flashing to get the Hub Auto Ferrari out of the way. He's going to try and get a toe off it. It didn't work. Did he cost the time? A 2.015. He needs to go quicker than that. Very quick lap time. Nicky Katzberg got up into third position. You didn't see it on your screen, but I can see it online. He's gone into third position with a 2 minute and 729. Nine thousandths of a second slower than Van Four in the number 25 car. Now coasting round, this is what I thought we'd see at this point, a certain car starting to tool around very slowly on the track. They can't pit because they lose their existing times. That's right, they need to stay out. And, uh... Now the Gripper N Mercedes, are we talking about? The yellow Gripper N Mercedes has just lost all of its time as he's come into the pits four tyres, six minutes to go, and the Sun Racing. The Sun Energy car, the blue, the blue and fiery car, is just leaving from that. Another one of the Mercedes, that's the green and white car, has just come through as well. So they need to go out and get some times on the board with six minutes to go. This is big, bravery movers. Ah, now interesting, it looks like the yellow Mercedes is coming in and stopping. Well, that's not sensible because you haven't got any times if you do that. Well, 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 the BMW now coming towards us, crossing the line. That's Augusta Farfus, looking at a quicker map. Yeah, he came out. Uh, car one, let's keep an eye on car one, two, five. That's his pass. He said, very quick final sector, putting up into sixth position. It was only at 201.045 with that flying fast sector. I think he's going into his fast lap. So you're going to see a lot more from that. The car guy racing car you just saw on the screen. Now the number 44 car, the Mercedes of Gary Paffett at the wheel, he's doing the best time that that car has done, but I don't think it's going to be quick enough to go on the top of the timing sheets. We'll see it on the screen in a minute. 
minute. I'm waiting to see what it means for us as he crosses the line and doesn't do very much. It puts him into 12th position with a 2.014. But absolutely throwing it around his van four now in the Audi. Team WRT number 25 Audi is almost off the track now. If someone was going to say the word track limits, he's going to be pushing it because he was nearly in the gravel trap here, yeah, but he's gone purple in the second sector as the double zero car, Hatsune Miko, is pushing as well. That's near Kobayashi. Not good enough though, that's not going to worry the top runners, but keep an eye on this car, the blue, Nagaro blue Audi, car 25. This is a quick, quick lap, but he's got traffic coming out of the final chicane. It's enough around him. Will it get out of the way? No, that's going to spoil his lap slightly. 2.664, that's not quick enough. He needs to go quicker. Yeah, still a very good quicker. lap time. It's a great lap time, uh, time yeah. But he lost enough. a couple of attempts in that final you know, it set. It could be very interesting to see. Uh, we have Tsugio Matsuda, Oliver Jarvis ready to attack. And there's another car waiting to come in. Now, this is interesting. So, I, with four minutes to go, these guys coming in the pits, I'm not sure they realise they lose their times if they pit. It's, it's very it. clearly in the regulations, it's all it's cars will be on track at the same time. time. However, during the poultry run, any driver coming into pit lane and stopping from their garage will have their times set up to that moment cancelled. And there's a, I can see another pit crew coming out onto pit lane. None of them are fueling, and none of them are changing tyres. I'm confused by this. Yeah, that's right. Why I guess would they already used the damn new tyres. Yeah. yeah. They're driving to the jacket flag. Coast around, yeah, because all of these times will be deleted. I think these teams might not. Have... I don't think the teams have read the regulations. The Lamborghini of the Japanese driver, Takashi Kogure. Uh, not, uh, I expected uh, the Lamborghini cars to be a bit quicker. They are uh, about one second off the pace. All the cars are coming back. Yeah, that's curious. Well, they might need to. Yeah, and the the motor line is actually going in the garage. That's interesting. So why the regulation? Yeah, maybe the regulation has been like changed again. Change it like uh, at the last moment. There have been some regulation changes. Well, there's the Hub Auto Ferrari Heike Kova line, and he was on lap 2020. It's not quick enough though. Jarvis is back. Mm, P P15. I think there's going to be some question marks raised after this session. So Guillaume Matsuda was uh, the sector time was very close to Jarvis. P17. That was his fastest lap last time by, and he's out there on a run. So most cars, they still have uh, enough time for one more lap. So at the sector one, Jarvis is uh, one test quicker compared to his previous lap. Well, now the BMWs have come in, so this is interesting. So the fastest car, number 42 BMW, is stopped in front of his garage. Now the regulations we have in front of us says all times previously been deleted in that case. There is no, I checked the, the board earlier today, there were no modifications to the regulation at that point. <laughs> yeah, that point. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it could be interesting to see after the qualifying. Whereas KCMG have stayed out, you moment, see. So. So. Right. Yeah, but they are still uh, on flying lap. Car guy racing are coming in as well. Yeah. So Jarvis is coming with uh, his uh, personal best lap. And uh, the Japanese driver Kugure on the Lamborghini is improving his lap time. Let's see. If he can improve his position, I kick over line and also on the lap, he is improving just a bit quicker, but not massively. Unfortunately for that team, they couldn't put their Yeah, Kovalainen's uh, sector time approximately should be like close to well, the. Well, the Schnitzer guys are congratulating Augusto Falfus already, um, and I think they're probably right because nobody can go any quicker unless the 75 car of Bastion. He's on a lap, but it's not that quick. There's the Hub Auto car. Oli Jarvis in the KCMG car 201, as you can see. The green lights are on, so it's a little bit premature, I have to say, for the Schnitzer guys to be congratulating themselves. And the driver's out of the car, and there's the car still out there on laps, and Sugiya Matsuda, if he doesn't pit now, which he didn't, can start another full flying lap. Right. So that's quite a surprising time to be congratulating your driver. 
Now, there certainly was some confusion amongst the teams as to the regulations for this session, even going into the session. Um, and I do hope the teams haven't got this terribly wrong. I don't think so. I mean, they should know the, the regulation. Maybe they change it at yeah. some moment. Yeah, they should, sure. they sh I guess, it should have been. Because all, all the cars in the pit, there's only like two cars active. Yeah, the, there's the, the visa cars that have done it. Right. Okay, so I've had clarification from the organisers. Right, you got it. There has been a subtle rule change just announced <laughs> ah, at the start of the session. Okay. Uh, it's on to do with the Park Firm May regulations. Uh -huh. If the team work on the cars outside the garage, they lose the time. Uh -huh. But if you come into well, the bus going down the pit lane, of course, and if you but if you come into the garage and just stop and don't touch the car, then you don't lose your times. So that rule has been uh, changed okay. so just they, before. Okay. The so they, they could now it's uh, more actually, precise. Yeah, they could actually wait in the pit lane rather than stay out all the time to receive check or fly it. That's right. Yeah, okay. So, right, okay. Well, the, the track temperature, we just got, just got the track temperature at the, in the city. It's 34 degrees track temperature, which is ideal for the Pirelli DHD2 tyre. Mm. And um, it, this, is, this is about the perfect window for these tyres to perform. Yeah. And uh, the... Checker flag is out, and there are no cars on track on competitive laps at the moment. So that will basically be our top 20 for tomorrow. Headed up by, so on pole position, we will have car 42. Yes. Takashi. The BMW, but Takashi's yeah. Just, yeah, well, he's down there with them, as you can hear. Yeah, right, Takashi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, uh, yeah, you, you could just directly to, um, connect this to the driver if you want. Okay, now Hi. I have uh, uh, August with me. Okay. Uh, August. Hi. Uh. Congratulations. Uh, first, I have to say congratulations <laughs> for uh, P1 in overall. Thank you. Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, a great lap. I have to say it probably was one of the best laps I've ever done here in, in Suzuka. It's extremely important to put lap together. Uh, we did some change in the car, and we knew with the temperature dropping, the car would have got better. And yeah, thanks to the team, uh, very happy to put the car on the position. Augusto, congratulations. That's Ronnie talking. So I'm Thanks. very happy like, uh, <laughs> to have you, Ciao, you here in full position. Bravissimo, complimenti. Thank you so great, much. Yeah, it was good. Amazing, yeah. amazing lap. Yeah, it was good to go. Yeah, now it's a long race. I mean, it doesn't mean a lot, yeah. but you know, but uh, it's good to start from, from there. For ah. sure, it gave us a lot of motivation for tomorrow's race. So to start in front, even long race, is also is always good. So it was about it's all about saving the tires. That's right. But uh, uh, at least you know, starting from front, we can we can use the track position. You know, with all the safety cars, you have seen this race here. You have to win in the last hour. So it's about keeping the track position and hoping for the best. But at least we show the pace, the performance, which makes us very happy. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. So keep it up for tomorrow. All right. Ciao, okay. ciao, Gusto. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, that's, that was quite an exciting <laughs> session, wasn't it? Especially yeah. with the uncertainty. But there's a big party going on. I can see down into that garage there's a big party going on. So they're very happy. <laughs> Thing is, though, for a 10-hour race, I mean, there is, there is money for pole position, of course. So these guys are, are, are actually having reason to celebrate. And... Um, I have the wrong piece of paper in front of me with the prize money. There's such a confusing. Yeah, I'm not of sure. Maybe money. Augusto is not uh, still uh, think about the money yet. <laughs> no. I think he's happy for his performance, but maybe, maybe later on he, uh, the team's happy about the money. he will realize uh, about that as well, and they will be even even happier. Yeah, so there's a chunk of cash for various things in this Suzuki uh, penthouse, and well, pole position was one of them. So. He's uh, put his finger up. He's very happy about that. That's the mandatory Japanese I've, I'm first gesture. You have to put the one finger up. I'm number yep. one. Yeah, yeah, number, number one. one. It, it, is, it is the rule that you have to do. That is the rule that doesn't get changed. Uh, ah, this is a Japanese style? No, it's Europe, you don't do that. No, Europe, you don't do that. Oh, really? Yeah. Apart from you, that's a Jensen Button. Yeah, I see. <laughs> no, Sebastian Vettel does it, and Jensen Button does it, and that's about it. Yeah. And it was one until recently, Jensen Button won. But there you go, you can see the starting order for tomorrow's race. Team Schnitzer on the top, Audi Sport WRT, followed by Walken Horse Car Guy Racing, Bentley, Mercedes, Audi, Team more Mercedes, and the other Bentley, rounding out the top 10. The second half of the top 20, obviously defined by this session as well. That's the 
headed up by the Porsche 912. Think, do you think uh, Suge Matsuda down in 13? Do he's going to be a little bit disappointed with that? Yeah, I expected like to be at least inside the top 10. Uh, he pushed uh, very hard to laps in a row. He could improve uh, point, uh, 0.3 seconds uh, the lap time, his lap time in the last uh, in the, his lap flying lap. But I think he gave everything. Uh, he's in front of uh, uh, the sister car, uh, the car number 18 of the other car of Case Image, the, the of Yaris. Uh, but let's see. It's a long race. Uh, it's very interesting to see the top uh, four cars. Uh, we have uh, like two BMW, one Audi, which is second, BMW on top, and then we have uh, in fourth position one Ferrari. So it will be uh, a great battle tomorrow. A bit disappointed about the performance uh, from uh, Lamborghini. Uh, uh, I thought they, they could give a bit more. But tomorrow it will be a long race. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of changes. Everything open. Still yeah, open. Uh, you know, it's it's a ten-hour race, so yeah. I mean, qualifying's qualifying, but you know, anybody, you know, anybody can win it. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we have uh, Heikki Kovalainen in P20. Mm, we expected a bit more, even from him, but the car has the potential. Uh, they were quick uh, during the qualify. Uh, there was a Ferrari in P4, so it would be nice to see the recovery also from uh, the car 27 with Kovalainen. Jonathan Sheeran just, just, just at the end there, Foster. And that's it. And Jonathan Sheeran's just asked that, um, about that car, what happened to it. Well, Heike Kovalainen hasn't found how to unlock the speed of that car at the moment, it seems. But because of the regulation saying the highest rated driver has to drive the car, it's too fast to drive as Nick Cassidy and Nick Foster, because they're gold rated, were unable to drive the car in the pole shootout. So that car is really a little bit out of position. Uh, yeah, that's right. And unfortunately, yesterday it was uh, rainy here in Suzuka. So, like for drivers like Kovalainen, they don't have uh, experience with uh, GT3 cars. He couldn't drive on dry, con uh, on dry condition, and he started to drive in this morning. But you have to share the car with your teammates. It was uh, just one hour of free practice. So, uh, it's uh, how it works. So, a bit unlucky for yesterday's weather. Yeah, absolutely. And. But that weather change, I mean, it has, that does leave the teams with quite a lot of uncertainties to deal with. And we don't, you know, the tyre degradation isn't really that well known. The condition of the circuit is a little bit evolving, and we do think there's going to be some rain overnight. That will change things a little bit more as well. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, for sure. So we have uh, a great field with uh, so very high level like cars and great manufacturers. Uh, and the drivers, the drivers in an app is great, so we will uh, see a great show tomorrow. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to make a prediction on who, who's going to be. But you know, it's a 10 hours race, yeah, mm. 10, 10 hours, hours race, and uh, I'm sure from the start of the race, from lap one, as uh, we can see, even uh, Le Mans 24 hours race. Like, uh, our driver will push very hard as a uh, sprint hours race. Of sprint race. <laughs> it will be like 10 hours of sprint race, race, so it will be. It will be a great show, I think, already from the up opening lap of the race. Right. Well, if you if you don't forget to, if you're watching us on GT World, we'll be live, of course, with the full race tomorrow, and that will be starting at 9:30 Japanese time. That's right. So convert so, that into your various time zones from Tunbridge Wells to uh, Brazil to New Zealand. Yes. I have no idea what the time is in Tunbridge Wells right now. Well, in Europe, like uh, this, uh, you can go out. Uh, to enjoy the Saturday night and yep. then don't go to bed and uh, just go in front of your PC and look at uh, this uh, 10 hours. I series. completely agree <laughs> with that, that strategy. As you can see on the screen, you've just got the... Uh, we should be getting a short interview of Augusta Farfa, so I think we'll just stick with that for now before going off air, so because Sonia is down there with a microphone and that usually means we're going to get a little bit interview, so we're just going to run a little late because... Um, what the crowd, get, so crowded. Exactly, so, so we are going to get a little interview, so I think we'll stick with that. If we can. Sonia's there and ready. With the pole sitter. The Augusto is going to give a few words to us. Um, Eventually. <laughs> when he stop I'm not sure if you can talk in Japanese. Maybe not. So we have the our translator there. Sonia is there. Okay, well, let's she see if we can translate for us. Uh, we 
can't hear that at the moment. And no, we've lost that. <laughs> so no, we're not going to get that uh, interview. So just before we go off air, Taka is back with us, looking very warm. <laughs> so tell us, so what we were just talking about is, is tomorrow's race. What are you looking forward to? Well, the race is rated on. So, um, you know, I'm sure there will be a, a safety car out at some point. Oh, that's, that's guaranteed. Yeah. And uh, not really sure about the weather too, you know? It might be raining. You think so? We, we cannot say it's not I going mean, to rain at yeah. all, so... Like Japan is, uh, I think Japan is officially entered monsoon area, so I think we could predict um, some, we could anticipate some uh, shower during the race. I mean, tell yeah. anything can happen. Might be not that heavy, but... Well, I'm just kind of thinking it's going to be fun if it's <laughs> Yeah. It's going to change a lot of... Uh, and yeah, I think, you know, you ask the team, you ask the driver, you know, how was your day and how was your right. qualifying? I mean, they're probably going to say, well, they like the qualifying's done and now it's going to be 10 hours. It's yeah. going to be a long race. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I saw a couple of drivers after the uh, pole shootout mm -hmm. and they all uh, look really relaxed and they're ready for 10 hours. Okay. That's interesting. Most of the drivers at the, the KCMG, because I was there uh, interviewing the, the Chio, so... Sounds like they need to try harder. Right, yeah. I'm going to put you all on the spot, and I'm going to do this myself as well, just before we go off air and say goodbye to everybody listening in. Pick one car for the overall win. You have to pick oh, one that's car. that's hard to win. That's really hard. <laughs> okay, I'll start then. I'm going to say 77. Yeah. 77? That, that, that's... 77? Wow. Mm -hmm. Consistently faster Constant, every session. Right. Okay. They, they mean there's the well. One thing I realized for this Paul shooter, the, the top twenty, top top twenty twenty cars, uh, what it is is like the the drivers are, you know, they don't have like a, they don't have like gold driver and bronze driver. They have like bronze. Uh, they have three golds or three platinums or two golds. And they're all about the same pace. Yeah, pace. And, that, and that's why I picked. Right. And that's why for me, so Cross Bamboo were doing that. Consistency. I was looking for that word. So who, who is your who is your team? Well, I'd say seventy seven, but. Um, you can go for 77. Yeah, 77. And um, uh, not, um, 999 was a winner last year, right? I yeah. mean, they were consistent. And they seem to be consistent also. So Group M. Ooh. Yeah, Group M. Ronnie, who's going to do it? Come on. Uh, Are you going to bet? I was predicting like, to the pole position for uh, the Lamborghini, car mm. num number 88. So they were struggling to qualify, but the... Even the driver told me they are very confident for the race, so I will go for the car 88. But you know, I'm uh, an Nissan driver here in Japan, and my Super GT teammate uh, right. Sugiyo Matsuda is driving. So I would say 88, but my heart is cheering up for the car number 35. <laughs> okay. The Nissan GTR. <laughs> okay. Who are you well, going to pick? You know, uh, since Andrea is driving and I'm driving a Lamborghini, I would like to say 88, but if I was to say this is a one, going to win I would say 25 25 oh, yeah. Yeah, that's brave a good, that's me a good, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's, like, it's like you know it's Audi what you WRT. wish for and what, who you bet your money on <laughs> because, yeah. no because <laughs> Audi they always do good in the endurance race right. Right. Audi do. Porsche mm. so uh, it's going yeah. to it's going to be a close one it's going to okay, be good and so I want you all to come and join us for it the tomorrow. German manufacturer which you choose against my Japanese <laughs> manufacturer and Italian manufacturer. <laughs> Let's see how it will uh, go right. on. So oh, let's yeah. let bet something later on. <laughs> so, so, so I think no one backed any of the English manufacturers. Oh, well. <laughs> I think we will be making some bets later on. Well, thanks for joining us here on uh, or Pit FM. And I'm not going to say what I nearly said because it's the wrong channel <laughs> on GT World. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and join us tomorrow and we'd love to have you all back. It's going to be a fantastic race here at Suzuka. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Have a good evening.